What's cooking guys? Have you ever had that error where it says warp stabilizer and speed can't be used on the same clip? And yes, I know Premiere Pro has its quirks and maybe this is an issue for you. Well, actually there's a very simple way you can fix this issue and keep that warp stabilizer and that speed ramp on the same clip without getting this error message. Let's get into it. So here I have one of my clips where I wanna add a little bit more effect to it. So I wanna add that slow motion to it 50%. But of course, it does have that little wobble, and I would love to put a warp stabilizer on that. So I come over to here, type in warp stabilizer, which will kind of stabilize my clip. I put it on, and of course, warp stabilizer and speed can't be used on the same clip. You get this error message. Yes, your speed ramp will still work, but that warp stabilizer will not work. And maybe you think there's a workaround where you add your warp stabilizer first and actually do your speed ramp second or your slow motion second so warp stabilizer first and then i try to oh let's try to 50 percent now you still get the same issue you still get the same error it's not going to work well there's actually a super easy fix for this that will negate that error every single time and that is as simple as nesting that clip so what you first want to do i'm going to remove that warp stabilizer remove that slow motion get rid of that all so i have my normal clip so I'm gonna first do my slow motion or my warp stabilizer, whatever you decide to do first. I always do my slow motion first. And so what you do now is you right click on the clip and you go up to nest. You can just name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it warp one, just in case I do multiple of these, hit okay. And of course it kind of changed the color of the clip to indicate that it's a nested sequence now. And now I can go up to my warp stabilizer and drop it on that clip. And now I don't get that error. I get my slow motion, I get that warp stabilizer, and I don't get that error. And it was as simple as putting that effect on, nesting it, and then warp stabilizing it after. And if you want to go in and adjust that slow motion that you put on first, you can always just double click on the nested sequence, and it opens it up and you can adjust it, and then close it, and then go back to your main sequence where you nested it originally, and continue on and it won't affect that warp or anything and you won't get that error. See, it's that easy. I used to not even realize you could do this. I would slow-mo it in Premiere and then I would actually open the clip in After Effects and then warp stabilize it that way and I would kind of negate that error somehow. But actually, it was all in Premiere and it was so easy and it works every time and you won't get that error anymore. Did you know this trick? If you did, let me know in the comments. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.